Hello students, welcome to a very new video from Sources Classes. In this video, we will be discussing about CAT Examination 2016 Part 2. Part 1, I think you have seen it. If you haven't seen it, please go to our portal and you will be able to see it. And the subscribe button is very important. And press it, you want to see the next videos. Okay, without further wasting time, let's go for the question. So this question is to verify the values of y which will satisfy the equations okay so we have x x so only two variables two equations now the values of y which will satisfy the equation will be found by solving which of these equations so here how to start the equation is the main idea so here we have an equation two equations in, in the options you can see all the equations involved only y in them so we can take x in terms of y x in terms of y okay or we can take this as well but here we are only taking x in terms of y from equation 2 it will be relatively easier we can write this thing okay now substituting these values into equation 1, we can get y plus 3 square 6, y plus 3 by 2, plus 5y plus 1 equal to 0. So we just keep on solving this. After calculating y square 6y9, this is 2 minus 3y minus 9 plus 5y plus 1 equal to 0. So ultimately it will give you y square plus 6y plus 9 plus 4y plus minus 16 so that is y square this is y6 plus 4 and this is minus 7 equal to 0 so we get our quadratic equation so we didn't directly go to it we just solve it and put it into the equation and we can see that our option which we are looking for is c now cat is always challenging sometimes they give you the option sometimes they don't and there is no particular way there is no predetermined structure or pattern so you need to be really good in this kind of especially the mathematical area okay now coming to the next question pqr3 non-negative integers now this is very important so pqr positive such that p plus q plus r equal to 10 okay so the maximum value of this thing pq plus qr plus pr plus pqr so we just can't apply the ab plus bc plus ca formula directly we use a different color for this one okay blue will do so value of pq plus qr plus pr plus pqr will be maximum if consider the possible greatest value of pqr so this whole value are all in plus so if we take the maximum values of pqr then this product will also be maximum that's very true now p plus q plus r equal to 10 so let's consider this some values like p equal to 3 q equal to 3 and r equal to 4 in that case we just put it into this equation so 3 4 3 is a 9 3 4 is a 12 and 12 9 plus 12 plus 12 plus 36 so it gives you 69 okay now consider p equal to 2 q equal to 3 and r equal to 5 that is also a possible combination you just put it over here the value will be 6 plus 15 plus 10 plus 30 so this one is 61 less than that so thus we can say that the maximum value of the given expression is greater than equal to 60 and less than 70 that's it greater than equal to 60 and less than 70 so the most possible answer to this question is c so this is a, is a trial and error process that is the only way out in order to do this kind of questions. Now this is n is a set of natural number that is partitioned into subsets. So they have given subsets like s1, s2, s3, s4 like this and so on. So what is the sum of the elements of the subsets of s50? So in that way it is again an observation based question. So the first element of each set, the first element of each set is 1, 2, 4, 7, 11, 16. This series is neither an AP nor a GP, but the difference between them in terms 
are actually first one is 1, then is 2, then is 3, then is 4, then is 5, is a natural number formation. So it's an AB with both first term and the common difference as 1. Hence, to find the 50th term, the original series, we have to add the sum of 49th term. Okay, so the sum of the 49th term, you know, to get it is 60 for is 50 to the first term of the original series. Now the sum of sum of the first 49 terms. Sum of first 49 terms. What that can be? That is 40 n into n plus 1 by 2. This one is 1, 2, 2, 5. Formula is n into n plus 1 divided by 2. So therefore the 50th term in the original series the is T50 is simply 1, 2, 2, 5 plus the first term that is 1, 2, 2, 6. That's it. This will be the first element of the set S50 which will have around 50 elements. So the last element of S50 will be so 1, 2, 2, 6 plus 49 terms. So this will be 1, 2, 7, 5. So the sum of the elements in this set will be sum of the elements in this particular set will be 50 into 1, 2, 2, 6 plus 1, 2, 7, 5. First term plus last term by 2 into number of terms. So that is 6, 2, 5, 2, 5. That's an easy question. So all you need to know this formula and this formula and all your worries will be over. Okay. Now proceeding to our new question. Now this one is based on a little bit of mensuration. What is the area, circum radius and in radius of a regular hexagon of A? Now this one is directly based on formula. Now that quite unusual. Okay. So here the in radius the in radius is nothing but r equal to root 3 by 2 a that's it and area equal to 6 into area of the equilateral triangles so that is root 3 by 4 into a square that is 3 root 3 by 2 a square 3 root 3 by 2, so just by checking, we can say 3 root 3 by 2 a square is only here. So the answer is option A. Okay. Now, uh, if you need a diagram of this, it's based on an idea like this. Okay. And the points, we can take A here, P, slightly here, C, then T, here, E, and lastly, F. Now what we are going to do is, let's connect them. Okay, and now BE we will connect, we will connect these two and also this one. Should be going like this. Oh, okay. So now, this in circle will be somewhat like this. Okay, and this is the center O. Oh. And these all lengths will be A, 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 and A. So this is a simple way of doing a hexagon and finding its area. Okay. Now proceeding to the next question. They have given x, y, a, y, y, b, z, y, c, and x, y, y, z, z, x. It's a very old school formula. It's a very common question as well. Okay. So here what we are going to do is let this be equal to this given expression is equal to k. So we can have x equal to ak, y equal to bk, z equal to ck. So what we can write as x plus y plus z equal to k into a plus b plus c. So if we just square it, this will also be squared. And after that, LHS, we can apply the formula to x, y, y z z x in the r h s also we can apply this one a plus b plus c whole square in the very next line we just keep this 2 into x y y z z x here and if we just take this one into the right side so we can write k square a plus b plus c whole square minus x square plus y square plus z square that's it 
So simply x y plus y z plus z x equal to this divided by two. Okay, now a little bit of calculation, and we know k equal to we just put here x by a. That will be relatively easier. So this will be x square a plus b plus c whole square minus a square x square plus y square plus z square divided by two a square. So we're just putting it. So we can consider that the b option directly matches. Just the note is k equal to x by a we are substituting because the options are with that if they are giving it with respect to something else we could have substituted y by b or z by c that's for this question now we are proceeding to question number 80 let's see what happens here so now this one is a very tricky question if 0 less x less 270 so x lies between 0 to 3 pi by 2 so this is 3 pi by 2 then what is the probability that sin x greater than cos x now the thing is that 0 less if you need a little bit of geometry knowledge if 0 less x less 40 if then sin x less than cos x now that will be very relevant later now if x equal to 45 then what happens then sin x equal to cos x okay now the rest of the part I will be doing with d green. Yeah. Okay. Now if 45 to 90 happens with the equality this time you can do, then sin x is actually greater than cos x. That's it. So now if 90 is less than x less than 180 degree, then also sin x equal to cos x okay as sin x is always positive in that zone okay this is a sin x positive zone all sin tan because i'm talking about this so this is a sin is greater than zero and cos is in this region okay we'll come to it now coming to this axis axis number three so here what happens 180 to 225 region if we just go so there is again sin x greater than cos x. But if x equal to 225 degree, then sin x equal to cos x. Because of 45 again coming, 180 plus 45. Now next is 225 less x less 270 degree. Now that is our important range. That's the third quadrant coming. So here sin x is less than cos x. This one is very important. Hence, the probability is 90 minus 45 with range wise 100 minus 90, 225 minus 180. So simply 2 by 3. Hence the probability is 2 by 3. So don't get confused, find your own three supporting areas and with respect to that, you can solve this kind of questions as well, okay? Now, the next uh, few questions I will be solving in the next video, okay? You have you need to subscribe and if you have any queries, you can get to us, to our website. It's given in the description below as well and I am also writing. okay or you can whatsapp us to this particular number okay thanks for watching hope to see you in the next video thank you